Listen, let's not let's not deny the fact that for far too long, Staten Island has been a forgotten borough. We all remember this uh, fresh kills. It was nothing fresh about the smell that came out here. It killed. This later at one time became the uh, largest landfill on the globe, filled with New Yorkers household garbage. But I mean, look at this space. Look how beautiful this place, this space is. Three, two, one, yes! <laughs> Well, it was once the largest landfill site in the world, the principal dump for New York City's garbage, but no more. The first section of what has become Fresh Kills Park is officially open with paths and overlooks, and I believe it's going to become the second largest park in New York City. It's pretty incredible. Joining us now to talk about all of it is New York City Parks Commissioner Sue Donahue. Thanks so much for, for being on. This is quite the project. I mean, what the largest park the city has developed in some 100 years, 2,200 acres. But I got to ask, because what a fascinating process this is. An old landfill, now a park. How do we know it's safe? That's the biggest question right out of the gate. Thank you, and such a good question. And the reason why it's taken a long time is because we absolutely have made sure that it's safe. It's a very complicated process, but one that we have done before. We know that it works, um, and you can see the end results from our um, from our opening yesterday. It is absolutely a transformational project for Staten Island and really for the whole city. I love that you mentioned that, how transformational it is for Staten Island, long thought to be the forgotten borough, right? And we knew that they were complaining about this. They did not want to be the city's dumping ground anymore. So how has this boosted morale there? We know that Staten Island has a lot of parks. Absolutely, but this is one, you're right, the, the institutional memory, and people talked about it yesterday. People talked about going to the mall in Staten Island and smelling the awful smells from the landfill that was close by. It impacted so much of people's daily existence on Staten Island. And now, instead, they have beautiful landscape. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it's become a place you're seeing wildlife come back. We're seeing rare species of birds, foxes, terrapin turtles. I mean, it is such an example of what can be done with really, really forward thinking, um, adaptive reuse, reclaiming open space for the community. It's really going to be not only an incredible, incredible park for people of Staten Island, but people from all over the world will come and see it because, you know, it is something that people knew and knew existed in one way, and now it's completely been transformed and it's beautiful. And you mentioned that land reuse, land repurpose, you guys obviously have been working hard. Are you hoping that this kind of comes becomes a model for other places around the world? Absolutely, and it already is. Um, we have people who've come and studied it and ask us about it all the time. Just because of the size and scale, think about this, we're talking about a landfill that was visible from space. I mean, it was huge. And it is also a great example of government working together to create something that's extraordinary for the people, to reclaim space like this. Um, it, it has taken years. A lot of our electeds, the mayor spoke to this so beautifully yesterday. It took a lot of work for many years to get to this point, but it just shows what can happen when um, there is determination um, to bring back what we know and that the Parks Department it's something that we're so focused on is taking every inch of open space and making it so that it's green and sustainable for the city. Mm, many years to get to this point and many more years until it's fully completed, right? 2036 right. is when it's slated to be completed. But when it is done, wow, yeah, it's going to be pretty extraordinary. Thank you, Commissioner. Agreed, absolutely. We appreciate your time. Looking forward to checking it out. Thank you. Please.